Hi everyone, it's Andrea here with my third and final um, instalment of my book haul for August. I went a bit mad, I bought over 30 books but obviously 14 of those were in the book tube on a budget so they were really cheap. So first of all I'm going to show you the books I got in my subscription boxes which you've already seen because I've done unboxings um, and I'll link those down below. So this was um, all together now by Jill Hornby. This was in the Book and a Brew unboxing this this month. So I'll link that unboxing down below if you want to have a look at it. Um, and then I also had the Illumicrate uh, box, which I unboxed. And again, so I'll link that down below. And the books in there this time were The Graces by Laura Eve. And most excitingly for me, Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. I'm really excited about this book. It, it was only after I'd done the unboxing that I had a look on the inside and saw all the stars. And I thought oh, that's lovely. And on the cover, the inside cover, on the hardback, you've got the. It, it's just a beautiful book. And of course, bookmark, which came with it. So those are the three we've already seen um, this month now. Um, I bought a copy of The Illustrated Eric. I got this on the bay. I have a copy of Eric which doesn't have the illustrations on it, so I wanted one with Josh Kirby's fantastic drawings in it. I can't afford the hardback first edition because it's bloody expensive. And that's why, you know. Um, so I bought the paperback reissue, which is really nice, and it's nice to have those as well. So I have read this one. Basically, Eric is 14 and he is the world's first demonology hacker, but he's not very good at it. All he wants is his traditional three witches, granted. Nothing too fancy to be immortal to real world and have to have the most beautiful woman on the disc world fall madly in love with him. Usual things. But instead of a nice tractable demon, he raises Rincewind, probably the most incompetent wizard in the universe and the extremely intractable and hostile travel accessory known simply as the luggage. With them on his side, Eric's in for a ride through space and time that is bound to make him wish quite fervently this time that he'd never been born. So Terry Pratchett is best really, I think. I love I love anything Pratchett. Talking of Pratchett, I also got the big uh, hardback of The Last Hero, um, a Discord fable illustrated by Paul Kidby. Absolutely fantastic drawings. I love the one of, if I can find it, I've done manifesting. Can I find that? Or is that? Hang on, I think it's before. There. There we are. Done manifesting where the gods live. Love it. So I've actually, as you see, I've started reading this. Um, so it won't take long to finish. I'll probably even finish this before the end of August because, well, you know, even though it's the 30th today, it's not a very big book. Um, I bought one biography this month. Was it one biography this month? Uh, well, anyway, and that was Connecting Doors um, by Nima Ash and within collaboration with Jason Doors Lake. So this is about um, British star, movie star and actress Diana Dawes, who is still very much beloved by the British public. Um, I've already read this, so I'm going to talk about this more in my wrap up. Um, but I did enjoy it. But uh, again, I'll, there'll be more in my wrap up. But so there's that one. I then bought um, While My Eyes Were Closed by Lind Green. And this one says one, two, three. Lisa Dale shuts her eyes and counts to 100 during a game of hide and seek. And when she opens them, her four year old daughter Ella is gone, disappeared without a trace. The police, the media, and Lisa's family all think they know who snatched Ella. But what if the person who took her isn't a stranger? What if they are convinced they are doing the right thing? And what if Lisa's little girl is in danger of disappearing forever? I love thrillers. This sounds like a really good book. Love the cover. In the back cover is really good as well. With a little child on it and the balloon floats away. There's a balloon under there as well, but you can't see that because there's a sticker on it. Um, then I decided to go back to my childhood. Now, while this generation um, rereads Harry Potter, and why not? Because Harry Potter's fabulous. I'm currently reading them now. Mm. So thirsty today. Um, my childhood was filled with books by Enid Blyton. So I bought one Enid Blyton. I didn't have when I was a kid, which is The Flyaway Cottage and Other Stories. So it's a book of short stories by Enid Blyton. There's illustrations in them. I really like this because I'm just going to 
the little girl that owned it before. <laughs> True balloons and everything is so sweet. So I'm going to enjoy reading that. And there were, there were I bought four Famous Five books as well. The first one my mum's got, which was the very first Famous Five book, Five on a Treasure Island. Um, the other three are Five Go Adventuring Again. Five Go Off on a Caravan. Five Go Off to Camp. Now these books were all issued in the same year. I didn't know what year they were issued um, when I bought them off of the bay. I got them, opened them up in my mum's living room and <laughs> couldn't believe it. Um, I like these editions because they've got the numbers on the side telling you which order they go in. These books were actually published in uh, originally in the 40s and, and 50s but these editions came out in 1974 which is the year I was born. So I was quite overwhelmed by that, I was really chuffed. So now I want to try and track down the other 17 famous five volumes in this edition because I like them. So there's those. I've already read the one of them, the first one, so because it's very easy reads. And the last book I bought is my first book from Persephone Books. I just love the little grey covers. I dropped it on the floor, it's got dust on it now. Um, so this one is Still Missing by Beth Guchin. I don't know if that's pronounced right, I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, it's got its little thank you from Persephone Books. A little bookmark that matches the inside flaps, which is I think they are lovely. Just open that up. I don't want to ruin it. It's a bit noisy outside today. Somebody's screaming as usual. Um, it was the afternoon Alex disappeared and the phone was ringing. If she answered it, her life would wind back like a movie run backwards to a moment before she knew. It would start forwards again, but at the same time, the world, a sunlit idle place. On the phone would be the school nurse or Jocelyn. Hello, Mrs. Selkie. Yes, I knew you'd be worried, but Alex was feeling sick at his tummy, so we thought he should lie down in the office until you could come for him. Yes, oh, he's fine. Would you like to speak to him? Hello, Mommy. Hi, sweetie. It's Jocelyn. Justin and Alex just begged to come to our house. They're in the middle of acting out Charlie's Angels or something. Yes. So why don't you leave him for supper? Come over at six and we'll have a glass of wine. Want to speak to him? And then Alex. Okay, Mommy. So this um, book came out in the 80s. It's still in publish, it's, it's still in print in, a, in the States, but it went out of print in the UK until Persephone brought it back. Um, I, I like a thriller. I like the sound of this one. It's gonna be very interesting. I think I actually recognized the story because when I looked it up, I found out that it had been made into a movie in the early 80s called Without a Tra Trace, and I think I've seen it. So that's why I think I was drawn to that one. Saying that though, there are loads of Persephone books I really want, so. I will be buying from them again. I also like the fact they put their boxes in uh, their packages in small boxes. So they actually go through less box. Um, just one question about Persephone books. Those of you who collect them and who have them, do you leave the bookmark that goes with each individual book in the book once you've read it, like that, or do you put it somewhere else with your other bookmarks? I need to know this because I'm quite fussy with what I do, and I'm in two minds as to whether or not to leave it in the book when I finish the book or put it in the separate pot with all my other bookmarks. So let me know, I really want to know. So those are now all the books I bought in August. Um, I'm sure I will be buying more in September though I'm gonna try not to buy so many. Um, let me know what you've bought. If you've done a book haul this month, I will probably watch it. So leave a link in, in the dubri below. If you enjoyed this video, like it, share it, comment and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it, especially comments. I, I love them. I love getting comments from people. And I will see you again very, very soon. So happy reading and goodbye.